historically we thought that it was exclusively male disease, but more recently the literature has shown that it does actually affect women, probably almost as often as men. So it's only recently that we're starting to think of women when we think of ankylosing spondylitis or axial spondyloarthropathy as we call it now. Um, and so we were very interested in looking at the differences in gender in the disease, particularly with extra-articular manifestations, because there isn't very much in the literature about that at the moment. And what we found in our study, which was done within the framework of um, ASRI, which is the Ankylosing Spondylitis Registry of Ireland cohort, and what that showed was that women are actually, they get the same extra articular manifestations as women, or as men, so that's uveitis, psoriasis and inflammatory bowel disease. And in fact, they don't only get them, they're actually at a higher risk than men of getting these manifestations, particularly uveitis and inflammatory bowel disease. There doesn't seem to be any gender difference in the risk of psoriasis. So I suppose this really has kind of turned our thinking about ankylosing spondylitis and um, its effects on women. But obviously this is only one study, so we do really need to do more research as reason ongoing registry, so we're still continuing to recruit more and more patients. It's a national study, so there's centres throughout the country, more and more are coming on board. So we're hoping to look at this again further um, once we have more centres on board and see whether these relationships still hold true.